She just proud. She don't even know. <laughs> okay, listen. Uh, Eric is not feeling well, but he had one of his homeboys come through and gonna stop and do some time for it. Y'all start clapping right now. Start clapping. Start clapping for the homie. Give it up for Finn. You a bad girl and it is bad too. Oh, you got the swag, so she drink the swag too. You a bad girl and it is bad too. Oh, you got the swag, so she drink the swag too. Now, now it makes sense. I asked Eric, what should I expect? And he said, man, you're gonna be one of a kind. <laughs> I had no idea this is what he was talking about. Dude. Man, if tonight was my movie, I'd call it, oh shit, I'm outnumbered. It'd be fun, right? I didn't make the flyer. Are y'all surprised? <laughs> I asked him, hey man, why are you on the flyer? He goes, something about tickets. Now it makes sense. Guys, I did a, any veterans in here? Any vets? There we go. Man, I did four years in the Marines from 03 to 07. And I've never felt as brave as I do right now. This is what courage looks like, folks, I guess. Uh, how you guys doing? You having a good time? You know, doing better than Eric is, huh? I think we all are. Man, I love asking that question, the how you doing question. Because sometimes you can, you can lie, right? Which I do all the time. Someone asks me, how are you doing? I tell them I'm good. How are you? I don't give a fuck how they are. I never do. Sometimes, sometimes I want to be honest, right? Sometimes I want to ruin somebody's day. Like a couple weeks ago at work, I'm walking down the hallway and here comes Donna. Donna walks up and she goes, hey, how are you? And I look at her and I go, Donna, how much time do you have? Right, I got four decades of trauma in this body. What do you want to talk about? Which divorce? Which child custody battle? A couple days after that, I'm walking down the hallway and guess who's coming towards me? Donna. She looks at me, eyes get big, head goes down. I walk by and I go, Donna, how are you doing? And she goes, oh God, not again. And I whisper, mission accomplished. So if you haven't noticed, I'm white. Just let's get it out of the way, right? The elephant in the room. And if you can't find my fiance, you're not looking hard enough. <laughs> yeah, it's the easiest version of Where's Waldo in history. But uh, like, I, I try not to get too white, right? Like, I, we got some people in my my race that are fucking assholes. Like that January 6th crowd. I don't even want to get to like MAGA levels. Right? Q and on levels. No thanks. And recently I've found myself doing one of the whitest things possible. Looking at sailboats. I'm looking at sailboats. But in order to keep myself from going like full Caucasian, I like to blast music from the greatest hip hop group in history. Now I'm going to let y'all guess. And if you say Naughty by Nature or Criss Cross, I'm going to drop the mic and leave. Greatest hip hop group in history, go, call it out. The only answer is Wu-Tang Clan. I'll be sitting there, looking at the sailboats, be like, cash rules, everything around me, cream, get the money, so I can buy a sailboat. All right, trying to keep it like, not too crazy. But uh, looking at sailboats has exposed me to a new group of people that I've never really dealt with, and that's rich people. I met some rich people, I'm gonna tell you what, I fucking hate them, and I like them. Do you know who hates rich people more than me? The RMS Titanic. 120 years and that bitch is still killing wealthy folks. That's hatred. She's still bringing them down, no pun intended. But uh, I can't stand them, man. I can't stand them at all. Uh, last thing before I get out of here, before I get out of your hair. I'm a teacher. Usually someone yells, fuck those kids, and I'd be like, that's a felony. You can't do that. Always, fuck those kids. No. I don't want to go to prison. I'm a teacher, and I have these special needs girls that come to my class. Two cute little girls. And they bring their comfort animals. It's two guinea pigs. The guinea pigs are named Skrillex and Dr. Dre. Okay? I've only heard Dre's music. The Chronic was the first CD I ever owned. 
So she's sitting there, and all of a sudden her hand goes up, and she goes, Coach, Coach, I have a problem. I said, what is it, Annabelle? She goes, Skrillex peed on me. She lifts him up, her whole shirt's covered in pee. Whole fucking shirt. I go, oh my God, Annabelle, you know what this means? She goes, I need a new shirt. I said, yeah, and? She goes, and? I said, and? You gotta change his name to R. Kelly. <laughs> Nobody got it, and I'm going to hell. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Finn. Thank you for your time.